Hello, my friend. Today I will introduce how to install and set up the split solar water heater systems. Uh, this is a 500 liter split solar water heat system. It is combined with hot water tank, a uh, black panel, pump station, and controllers. Uh, for the storage tank, the function is to store hot water inside. For the flat panel, it is used to heat water when the cold water goes through it. Pump station is force the water to circulate between the flat panel and the tank. Controllers is like a brain of the system. It will control when the pump will circulate, force water circulate, and uh, when the electric backup begins to work. So now I will introduce uh, one at the part one by one. The first is hot water storage tank. Some attention for this tank when you install it. First is when we uh, the, this is here is cold inlet. In the in the uh, water tank package we have a one way no return valve. This valve. So before the cold inlet connection you'd better connect here. And uh, on the web, there is an uh, arrow. Uh, please guarantee the arrow is the same direction uh, as the coding LED. Go inside to the tank. Uh, and this the web function is uh, the water will not return to, the hot water will not uh, return to the cold water. And then this here is hot outlet. PT valve. In the package, we also supply you the uh, PT safety valve. This is the picture. Uh, the specification of this PT valve is uh, 1 megapascal and 99 centigrade. So when the water in the tank reach 99 centigrade, or the water temperature, uh, or, or, the water, or the water pressure reach 1 megapascal, uh, the relief will open and uh, re relief uh, the pressure, release the pressure and hot water. This is for safety. And here is the cold water outlet to the pump, then return to the uh, hot water to the tank. Uh, because the hot water always on the top of the tank, so this you when you install system so you must guarantee the water to the collector is from the bottom connection here to the collector and then return to the top connection here and then it's sensor wear we have two sensor wear t2 and t3 t2 is a sensor wear to detect the bottom tank temperature t3 is a sensor where to detect the temperature uh, above the tank and here is uh, electric backup. It is a 1.5 kilowatt heating element inside. So when sunshine is not good, uh, the controllers uh, can uh, control the heating element and begin begin to heat the water. Uh, I will introduce how to uh, connect the uh, cable inside. This is uh, the inside pictures. Here is a thermostat, heating element, plastic cover. It is for uh, avoiding the electric shock. So when we connect the power cable to the uh, thermostat, uh, please remove the cover. Then you can connect it. So when you connect the cable to the uh, thermostat terminal, then uh, you cover cover this on it again for protection. At the back of this plastic cover is the thermostat. The thermostat picture is like this one. Uh, what you need to do is uh, connect the the power power line to the terminal, the top two terminal, this one and this one. Um, you don't need to adjust the thermostat anymore. Uh, here is the thermostat. Default temperature is 70. Uh, 
and here the up is for high temperature, high temperature cutoff. When the tank temperature reach 90 centigrade, it will cut off the power. So this is the thermostat. Uh, the heating element power is from the controllers HR from here, from here to the uh, heating element. Then I introduce the flat panel. Uh, when I CPU the flat panel, uh, some pallets on the top, there are some small back. Inside, it is the uh, brass fittings and the brass plug like these pictures, these pictures. So when you receive it, keep it well, because the brass fitting and the plug is used for connecting the each flat panel. Uh, the cold water will be from the pump, then from the bottom of collector, uh, heated by the sun, and return from the top hot outlet. My advice is, and the hot outlet you can equip uh, with a uh, air exhaust valve, like this picture. You can find it in your market. Air exhaust valve. Uh, the function is uh, may maybe there will be some uh, little amount of the air at the, the uh, on the top of the system. Then it will have influence on the circulation. Uh, so if you have an um, air exhaust valve here, it will increase the uh, circulation efficiency. And then is the pump station. The pump station, the appearance, outside appearance is like uh, this one. We use the uh, FRESOR, Germany FRESOR pump station. It's very high quality. Uh, inside is this picture. The cold water from the tank is from go inside from the bottom and up and then to the collector. This is uh, for show the tem temperature inside the pipe. pipe. And here is a pressure, show the pressure uh, in the pipe. Here is the connection for the, for the extension, ex expansion tank. Because we are used the uh, water circulation so we can block it uh, we can borrow one brass plug from here to block this connection and uh, at the back of here is a pressure wave when reach six bar it will open and drain the water from here this two valve is used for uh, in, inject the heat transfer liquid because we are using water circulation, so we don't use it anymore. Uh, and uh, these two connection is uh, it is sealed by the valve, so we can uh, borrow one plug from here and block the the, the connection for the expansion tank. And uh, the power power cable is from here inside. When we connect the power cable to inside, remove the screw, and then you can fix the power in inside, connect to the pump. Uh, now I introduce the, con the controller. Uh, this controller is a little complicated, uh, but I will introduce some basic functions. I think you just need to learn the basic functions, then uh, you can in, uh, install and set up it. On the left to the right, uh, this controller is um, indoor design, so you should install it indoor, not outdoor, and uh, in the dry environment. From the left to the right, it is the power input. Uh, this, is, this is the power for controller, and also it will give the power to the pump uh, live wine zero wine here is the ground wine terminal for the power input and also the uh, HR is the uh, electric backup here 
ground, ground wine terminal can use for the electric backup. The maximum uh, power is uh, 1,500 watt. So the tank is with uh, 1,500 watt heating element. You can connect two here. R1, R2, R3 uh, is used to connect to the pump. For this system, we just uh, need to use R1 to connect to the uh, pump station. And the T1, T2, T3. T1 is for the um, flat panel, this sensor for the flat panel. T2 is used to detect the bottom of the tank, T2. T3 detects the temperature up of the tank. You just uh, uh, connect the sensor according to my pictures. Don't uh, mix it. So please um, uh, in, fix the this, 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 this sensor, connect the sensor to the terminal according to my pictures, one by one. And uh, for the T1, connect to the flat panel, it is used the black sensor cable. Black sensor cable is a very high accuracy uh, sensor cable. So uh, don't mix the, with the sensor cable for the water tank. The sensor, the temporary sensor cable for the tank, T2, T3, it is white color. So it's different. So don't mistake the, the, the sensors. And there are R2, like and the T4. This is some uh, very advanced uh, function. Like uh, if the you have a lot of point to use hot water, you want the uh, hot water pipe with um, hot water uh, all the time. Then we can uh, use extra sensor to detect the the hot water pipe temperature. Uh, but in the box of the controllers, we only give you three sensor. So if you need extra sensor, you need to buy from the supplier. So detect the temperature and uh, you need to have an extra pump connect to R2. So the, the program is if the water in the hot outlet pipe uh, low than 40 centi degree, then the pump connect to R2 will circulate, circulate to here, to the, to the tank. You will have a, a circulation from hot outlet and the return to the tank. Uh, in this way, it can guarantee the hot outlet pipe with uh, hot water. Uh, this is the uh, advanced function. You don't need to learn about it, but if you have this kind requirement, you can study uh, the menu. Uh, in detail. Uh, this is the complete system installation uh, guide. So if you have uh, questions, you can contact me by email. I will take, make a video separately for the controllers to help you uh, study and uh, learn the controller quickly. Thank you.